Okay, so I've come in here, I've uh, done a little bit of disassembly, I pulled the side skirts loose, uh, the sides of the bumper, took the, well I went to take the fog lights out, come to find out I don't even need to take them off, there's one manual that says you have to, but, or one video I saw that says you have to, I didn't, um, but I did have to pull the headlight, there's two bolts up on top which are easy, the other one is way down here, there's a little hole here you can reach through. How much of it broke? Not ah, too bad, about an inch. is missing so it's up in here somewhere so apparently somebody had some issues with them and they just disconnected them so here's where I'm at so far that's the radiator core got the bumper and everything completely off and the AC condenser right here the lines are still all attached. I just uh, swung it out of the way and tied it up to a line on the corner of my garage. Now we're going to start working on the rest. Hopefully from here it should go pretty easy. Uh, looks like the two main things I'm going to have to worry about aside from getting wires out of the way is the hood latch because there's a cable in there I'll have to disconnect and then the uh, heater cores. Also this is the oil cooler or transmission cooler line. I'm not sure which. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Uh, that there was just one bolt held it in place right there. This was the uh, ambient air temperature sensor. Uh, apparently this bracket was already broke. They had it held in place with some zip ties which are laying around here. Uh, I had to cut those off so I'm pretty sure I'll have to fish it back through that hole. So on to the next step, we're going to be working on that radiator. <clears throat> well, I've gotten this far into it. Uh, core support and everything swung out of the way. I got lucky. The upper radiator hose came loose from the radiator without breaking anything. Uh, the lower one, I didn't get off, so I'm going to kind of wait. Uh, maybe I'll replace the lower radiator hose and the whole radiator if it doesn't want to come off. So we'll see. In the meantime, we're going to get this uh, fan, fan clutch assembly off of here and start working our way in towards the water pump and timing belt.
I'm about to get this fan clutch off of here, but it also looks like my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna end this video now. I'll get this edited, get it out for you, and uh, when we come back, hopefully, I'm into that timing cover.